Hey, welcome to Sound Off, where we discuss everything that we find important about what's going on in the music industry. Now, clarification, you might not find it important. We do, though, so we're going to talk about it. Today, Scott Wallen died. It's terrible. Terrible news. But it gives us a chance to do a recording about it. So, John, tell me about Scott Wyland. All right, so as most people know, Scott Wyland, um, the lead singer of um, Stone Temple Pilots, as well as side projects um, that are fairly recognizable, such as Velvet Revolver. Um, he's also done a lot of solo work with um, the Wildabouts. Um, so a really cool thing about Stone Temple Pilots, if you didn't know, um, they were actually formed by Rod Vallejo, their bassist, as well as uh, Scott Wyland. They actually met at a Black Flag concert, the punk oh, rock group. Okay. Um, yeah, they were actually uh, talking about love interests that they had in common. Um, one girl came up. They decided, or they found out that they actually knew the same girl, and they were fucking the same girl. That's awesome. That's um, my bros. Yeah. So, so uh, what? What more to do when you get to find yourself in that situation than to move in with that woman? This is the way to so, so, so essentially, you and I find out we are fucking the same chick. Yeah. Let's move in with her. And start a band. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it just, it's a better way to live real life. There's, I mean, it's really the golden rule. When you find an Esco, my, my brother, move in with him, start a band. Okay, so, so, so far we have the sex so, and the rock and roll. Oh, the sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So I'm not sure if I mentioned, she, they moved in all, it was a, all three of them moved in together. Oh, so they called her up they during said, the concert. They were like, hey, I don't know if it was during <laughs> Crazy the concert. Crazy idea. I don't know if it was during the concert or after the concert. Um, but yeah, they, they called her up and said, uh, hey, <laughs> uh, guess what I've got here? I've got, I've got Rob here, um, the other guy that you're fucking. Now, are either of them currently fucking this chick? Because that uh, would make it even more Well, he's dead. <laughs> so, well, at the time, like, obviously. Um, not now. No, I think, I think Rob's married now. No, at the time, during the Black Flag concert, were either of them fucking this, this girl? Or was this... Oh, all no, it was... From what I know, from what I understand, they were both having relations with the girl. At the uh, time? Like, they were both... Well, not together. They weren't, like, a well, yeah, but, but, but... Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, chronologically. Okay. There was some overlapping. <laughs> so that was... So, yeah, it was pretty cool that, that that's how they knew each other. Um, or that's how they, they met each other. So then they kind of formed together with uh, Rob's brother, Dean, um, DeLeo, um, and they kind of put the band together, and it is what it is now. Um, so, uh, the rest is win. Do what? The rest is history. Right. Um, history and drug use. Hmm. Um, so we do have sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> we do. Sex, Perfect. drugs, and rock and roll. All right. Um, so some other bands that Scott Wellen's been in, because uh, he's been in a multitude of bands, none of them is as, as successful as Stone Temple Pilots, um, and even Velvet Revolver. Um, but there was a Magnificent Bastards, um, solid band name, solid band name, uh, something war-esque is the reason that was, um, but I, and Glorious Bastards? Yeah, that's, that's what it was actually, now that I think about it, I was ah. reading up about it, um, never heard the band, um, <laughs> but whatever, uh, the Wonder Girls that only lasted about three months, um, but they did put out an EP if you want to go check that out. Are there any girls in the band? <sighs> no. Hmm. No. Inappropriately named? No, oh, that happens. Um, there was also, I also want to point out, Art of Anarchy. Um, pretty cool band, uh, cool solid rock band. They actually had the guitarist Bumblefoot. From um, Guns N' Roses? From Guns N' Roses. Ah. Um, so, Velvet Revolver, he's got Slash, yeah. who, uh, obviously, from Guns N' Roses, the most... Uh, now, Velvet Revolver, he had Dove McKagan and uh, Matt Sorum, too. Correct. So, yeah. the, okay. the, um, the bassist, as well as... The drummer for pretty much everybody drums. except for the one we don't want to talk about. Uh, Axel Rose. Oh, no. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> Axel Rose. <knows. laughs> Got to eat. Cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, he also, uh, he had Duff McKagan and uh, Matt Storm. But they also had uh, Dave Kushner from Wasted Youth. Okay. Um, it's a pretty cool punk band. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, Velvet Revolver. Um, not as known as Stone Temple Pilots, obviously, but I would have to put them up there oh, as, yeah, absolutely. as one of the better um, side projects, if you will. Yeah, I mean, that's um, a solid super group. You've solid got, super group. I, I three different bands. 
I mean, that's nothing. I, I feel like a super group should yeah. have more than just the two bands. Oh, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. Um, you know, when you have two bands together, like uh, Temple of the Dog, yeah. it, it's really it's just, it's, 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 it's group not a super It's not a super group. It's no. a, it's a uh, meshing. Yeah. It's team team effort. All right. So, yeah. there's a bit of history about Scott Wilde for you. Um, for those of you who didn't know, uh, great history, uh, solid dude. Um, unfortunately, as we've mentioned before, he has passed. Um, he, he died at, I believe, 48. 48. Um, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, he died on tour. He did. So um, On the tour bus, he was actually found. Yeah, on, on, on his tour bus, which uh, I, I, I personally didn't know the guy, but I believe he died doing something that he loved. And he was out, you know. He was either doing drugs or he was doing a show, and what he had to love one of the two, or if not both. Well, so, see, so not to cut you off, but um, they actually have done an interview. As of right now, it's nine o'clock Eastern time, um, so more information may come out prior to this airing. Um, but they actually did come out and interviewed his wife, who said that she didn't want to give out too much information because obviously she's distraught um, and going through her own demons as as this has happened. Um, but she said that as of a couple months ago, he was not on drugs. Take that for what you will. Good for him. Um, I, I don't but there was a cardiac arrest. He's um, he, he actually came to Louisville here recently with the mm-hmm. Roundabouts and did a, a decent show. He was obviously still, um, there was some sort of inebriation. It might have been just alcohol, but um, from what I hear, it, was, it, was, it, was, it wasn't great. Yeah. But he's, he's yeah. still... But anyways, you know, um, but regardless of the matter, he, he has passed and myself, uh, I, I like to consider myself, um, I wouldn't say a poet, but definitely, definitely someone who dabbles in, in the arts. And don't so, let him be modest. He is a fantastic poet, um, <laughs> as you will hear. If you bring me to it, I have an ode to Scott Weiland, um, See here. Scott, you sang in some bands. Mm. Your last name was Wyland. It was. It's hard to rhyme with Wyland, the end. Huh. Very great poem. Thank great you. Poem. It was Very hard. heartfelt. It was it was it was. I'm glad you I'm glad you recognized it. It was from the heart. It's fantastic. It's um fantastic. so at this point we'd like to bring in um a few rankings, if you will, of the late, great Scott Welland. Just kind of our opinions, um, placing what he did as a musician and uh, what things have actually touched us. So uh, John here is going to give you his top ten uh, Scott Welland songs. All right. So, um, yeah, so like I said, Scott Welland's been in uh, numerous bands. Um, but this top ten is going to focus more on um, the mainstream Scott Welland. So we're going to have some, some Temple Pilots. And some velvet revolver. Um, so here we go. So first, I'd like to start off with number ten, um, "Dead and Bloated." Um, Ironic. Too soon. <laughs> no, uh, "Dead and Bloated," fantastic song. Um, very g- grungy. Very um, really the the epitome of grunge music from the nineties. Um, great lyricism. Um, just an all out great song. Um, number nine, Vaseline, um, a very weird song, yeah, would you say? Yeah, it's um, which I, then again, in the in the nineties, uh, pretty much everything was weird. Yeah. Um, Creed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so think of Creed, but better. <laughs> um, so Vaseline, <laughs> everybody knows this song. Um, it's one of the staples of um, of Stone Temple Pilots' career, and. It's really a testament that this is number nine. Um, how many fantastic songs that um, Stone Temple Pilots has put out? Um, so number nine, um, number eight, we have Wicked Garden, um, arguably one of the um, more underrated songs from from Core. Um, just a fantastic song. Again, just like Dead and Bloated, uh, very grungy, very um, dark. In nature, um, but great song nonetheless. Um, number seven, we're going to bring in a little bit of Velvet Revolver um, with Slither. Um, um, this song really catches the essence of Slash. Um, it's got a, an incredible solo. Um, 
but yeah, if you haven't checked out Velvet Revolver, which I know a lot of you probably haven't, um, because like I said, it's not nearly as popular as um, Stone Temple Pilot. I don't know why super groups don't get as it's hot. Yeah, really. I mean, other than Audio Slave, popular to the point. Is it a super group? Mm-hmm. It's a super group of unknown bands. Oh, tangent. Okay. Yeah, one um, or two others. Which brings us to number six, Big Empty. Fantastic song. Um, another really good song um, from Purple, the album Purple, mm -hmm. um, which arguably uh, one of their better albums. Um, I think it would easily be their best album if Core wasn't just um, track after track um, radio hits. So uh, Big Empty is definitely a great, a great song. Um, number five, uh, Creep. Creep is from Core. Um, Creep is the is a very slow song. Very meaningful, very heartfelt. Um, again, very weird. Um, but there was a lot of drug use involved, um, so it really explains. Most of them. Most of them. Um, number four, probably one of their, their biggest radio hits. Um, we're going to go with Interstate Love Song. Mm, yeah. um, a lot of people are probably going to be upset that this isn't higher, but this is my list, not yeah. yours. So, yeah. There you go. Um, number three, Sex Type Thing. Um, can't have a list without sex type thing in, re in regards to Scott Wilde uh, or some different lights. So that's going to go there. Um, now, the greatest Velvet Revolver song ever. Number Fall two. Pieces. Fall to Pieces. Absolutely. Um, Fall to Pieces, it's deep and meaningful, uh, like Creep was, um, but it was coherent. So there's that. Um, also, you put Slash on anything. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's like cheese. <laughs> you put Slash on anything, and it's ah. going to be amazing. Slash is cheese, people. Slash is cheese. Cheese with hair. Um, You're right here first. <laughs> slash is cheese with hair. All right. Um, and a top hat. Uh, yeah. I mean, really, I think that's where he gets his superpowers. Top hat? Or the hair? Or cheese? What's number two? Number two. Fall to pieces. That's right. What's number one? Pieces of cheese. <laughs> Again, we're on a tangent here. Um, number one, um, we all knew this was coming. Uh, Plush. Fantastic song. Uh, one of my favorite um, songs in general. Obviously, it's my favorite. Um, song to a pilot song. Um, and a little unknown fact. Less unknown fact. Um, there was an acoustic version recorded to really? the song. Um, it is amazing. Um, arguably one of the best acoustic songs that I've ever heard. Um, or songs that were transposed <laughs> to acoustic, I should say. Um, if you have any issues with my list, um, fuck off. Um, but no. Or post your separate list in the comments below and let us know what you think. Yeah, and um, we will continue to ignore them. We're going to cut that out. Uh, no, we won't. Alright, All right. so... I also prepared a list. Uh, my list is a little bit different. I'm going to rank Scott Weiland's albums. Okay? Whether they be Vote and Revolver or uh, Stone Temple Pilots. I'm not going to rank any of the other bands because a few of them, honestly, I've never even listened to. And they're not that good. A couple of them, I don't think even belong on a list. So here's my top eight of Scott Weiland's albums. Uh, number eight, we have Stone Temple Pilots' self titled album, which came out in 2010, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, it's number eight for a reason, people. Uh, number seven is number four, the Stone Temple Pilots album, number four, which was a four studio album, and probably should have never been recorded in comparison to the rest of these albums. Not a fan of it. Didn't sit well with me. It didn't have that Stone Temple Pilots feel. It felt more like Scott Wyland lying a bunch. Um, which happens when, I mean, he's on drugs. Yeah, yeah it's pretty much. I'd, I'd rather him be creative and grungy on drugs than whining. And not moderation. Uh, drugs on moderation. There have been too many drugs at, at number four's point. Number four feels like he's, he's done just far too many. Yeah. Um, he should have stopped at number four. Uh, Shangri La Di Da would come in at number six for me. Um, it should have been higher somewhere because of the name because I laugh pretty much every time I say it. But other than that, it's not such a fantastic album in comparison to, again, the rest of their just everything they've got. Um, number five I'm going to put as uh, Tiny Music. 
dot 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 ellipses songs from the Vatican gift shop. Um, again, hilarious title. Um, a few solid tracks, um, but it's it's just not. See, the problem with Stone Temple Pilots is they just came in so hard so early. You kind of uh, just uh, 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 it, proceed. You kind of just expect more from them, and you know th this album didn't really quite deliver for me. Um, Thor, I'm going to put it Libertad, which was a Velvet Revolver album, uh, the second album. It's going to come in at number four for me. Um, it's because of a few songs on there, uh, Pills, Demons, and etc. And um, what's another one? Some of she like builds quick that's machines. Was, she builds quick machines. Yeah, that was a, that was another one of those radio hits from. Yeah, I knew it was she something, but I couldn't remember quite remember what she did. Um, last or uh, number three would be the Country Band, uh, which is the other Velvet Revolver album, the one with all the hits on it, uh, the solid songs. Uh, Two of them, which I believe were in uh, his top ten list. Fall to Pieces and Slither. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely. And number two I'm going to put as Purple from Stone Temple Pilots. Um, simply because, among other great tracks, we have Vaseline and we have Interstate Love Song. Which are pretty much two of the most recognizable songs from the 90s, really. Um, if not... Let alone Stone Temple yeah. Pilots. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, I mean, you, you do that to... I have pretty much anybody listen to that song, and they're probably going to be able to sing the words. They may not be able to tell you who sung it, they may not even be able to tell you what the name where it came was. from exactly, but they're going to know that song. But then again, most songs from Stone Temple Pilots. Which brings me to a had no name recognition. Oh, exactly, because they, it's, it's all kind of all over, all over the place. Uh, which brings me to number one, uh, which of course you've probably figured out at this point is core. Uh, sex type thing, Wicked Garden, Sin, Creep, Plush. Every single one of those hits, track for track, that whole album just goes. And Killed it. you can't really debate that. I, I mean, you can post sure. your list in the comments all you want, but if Core is not your number one album from Stone Temple Pilots, you don't need to be watching this video about rock music because you have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. No, you don't. I'm going to stick with that. Um, I, I agree. I'll, I'll oh, okay. Okay. I'll I'll agree agree Core was, is the best album. Um, yeah, but... Teach their own. You're wrong, but teach their own. Hey, whatever you want to say. Um, so, again, that's our video. Thank you for watching Sound Off today, uh, Scott Wyland. Uh, again, great man, great artist, and it's sad to see him go. It really is. Uh, um, I grew up with, with Don't Talk Balance and um, probably my second favorite um, band from the 90s. Obviously, we all know that Pearl Jam ranks up there um, if not one of my favorite bands of all time um but some of pilots definitely um we'll we'll miss scott Allen. absolutely we'll miss vintage scott Allen. <laughs> on, <laughs> on slight we'll, drugs we'll miss, we'll miss slightly doped up scott Allen from 1994 so um thank you all uh if you like what you see hit subscribe we're eventually gonna get better because this is our first attempt so it's gotta it's gotta get better than this and if you don't like what you see Hit the subscribe button anyway, and just say you, you hit it ironically. Yeah. Um, our song of the day on our outro here would be Plush, but the acoustic version. Yes, the acoustic version. So stick around, um, and we'll hear that. This is a song called Plush.
Bye. 